Welcome and good morning to Mike Ferry TV. It is, of course, the week of August 10th. At the retreat last month in July, I think it was day number two, I spent about an hour with our attendees talking to them about something I've talked to you before and want to talk to you again today. And that was about dealing with the different personality styles. I have said for the last five years to all of our coaching clients the same thing. Our inability to adapt to different types of people is costing every one of our clients 10, 15, 20, 30 transactions a year. Now think for a minute, okay? You are normally going to do best with people like yourself, consciously or unconsciously. You're gonna be more attracted to people like yourself. You've walked into a social situation and all of a sudden you've migrated to somebody and you feel like they've been your best friend for years. This is very common. And that's because that personality style is equal to yours. You, you've gone into situations where you've said to yourself, I feel like I've known that person forever and you've known them for five minutes. It's because again, that personality style is similar to yours. But the challenge that real estate people face almost every minute of every day in communication and talking to people is that we don't have the ability to identify the different styles or types of people we deal with. And as a result, we can't relate to them. We can't adapt to what they do, how they think and what they say. And as a result, there's a natural gap or division between the two parties. Okay, now think about the fact that you've walked in on a listing and felt uncomfortable from the moment you walked in the door. Or think about the fact that some people are not responsive to you the way you feel they should be. Why? Because one of you or both of you have not identified who you are and how to work with those people. We're going to do four weeks on personality styles starting today, the 10th and 17th, 24th, 24th and 31st of August. We're going to look at each style. We're going to ask you to identify some things about yourself. We're going to ask you to identify your prospects, your clients, your listings, your sellers, your buyers. And then we're going to ask you to think about how you're going to respond. Because remember, 25% of all people are each in a separate category. Now, I know what some of you are going to say. Oh, no, Mike, my personality, I'm in all four categories, or I'm in two. No, you're not. Nobody is. Now, I will say to you, and you need to understand, when you look at the four basic personality styles, the expressive, the driver, analytical, and amiable, you have to understand that each one of us is predominantly one of those styles. I've been tested five times over the last 30, 40 years to identify the style of Mike Ferry. And the style every time it comes back the same, I know you're gonna find this hard to believe, but it comes back that my personality is that of a driver-oriented personality. Now what's interesting is, I ask audiences every day to identify themselves. Everybody wants to be a driver. Like that's some kind of a big deal. Well, it's not a big deal. It's just one of the four personality styles. And then somebody would say, well, I'm, I'm part driver, part expressive, and then sometimes I'm analytical. No, you're not. You're one or the other. Now, in the testing that I've done over the years, they've determined that we all have a singular style. We also have a backup style when we're under a lot of stress, pressure, or tension. So when things get tense, many times we behave in a different style. Some of you are under stress and tension all the time because of your work. So therefore, your backup style may appear to be who you are when you actually have a style. Now, as I said, I've been tested five times. And my basic style is that of a driver. Under stress, I'm a worse driver. Many people will change from one to the next under stress. So understand, you are not two or three different personality styles. You're one. Maybe under stress, you're a second. But here's the catch. It doesn't matter who you are. It only matters who they are. It doesn't matter what you think. It matters what they think. It doesn't matter how you relate to them. It's how they can relate back to you. And they relate back to you by you understanding who they are in the first place. This is why I've been saying for years, and I get criticized in the press, and I get criticized online, and I get criticized by, by my competition every day when I talk about the fact that 
texting and tweeting and emailing and Facebook, et cetera, are here probably to stay. But they're never going to be as good as communication, talking from one person to the next. Why? Because you many times can't identify their style by texting. You can't identify their style by tweeting. You can't identify their style through Facebook. Oh, yeah, if there's a picture on Facebook of a person whose hair is orange and green and yellow and red stripes, you can identify them. But see, the truth is, you got to be involved in communication. So therefore, the Mike Ferry sales system, which is the best, the strongest sales system for real estate people, no questions asked, and the most, most all-inclusive, is all designed around asking questions. And the reason it's designed around asking questions is because when a person answers a question, they are telling you a lot about themselves, what they think, how they behave, and what their opinions are. And if you and I can learn to listen and watch them, we can identify very quickly the style. Why do we ask you to pre-qualify every seller 100% and never avoid asking one of the questions? Because it tells you their style. Their answers tell you who they are, and then it tells me how to adapt myself to them when I walk in on a listing. So we're going to look at four styles in four weeks, and we're going to talk more about versatility, how to adapt to those styles. So the next four or five weeks, and now what I've done is I've asked all of our coaches to ask all of our coaching clients to study the next four weeks. I'm going to ask all of you to pay very close attention. If you're a broker, pay attention and have this played to your salespeople. If you're an agent, study it every day for the next seven days until the next segment comes, segment comes out for you. Pay attention to this stuff. It's really important. So I, I wrote something and I want you to listen. If you're looking for a competitive edge that doesn't cost you a penny, study and learn the four personality styles and let this knowledge and skill be your winning formula to better performance. Why not? Most experts agree the human race is made up of four distinct styles. The key to building rapport and trust is understanding the prospect's personality, then presenting them to present in a style that most likely they can relate to. We at MFO, because of the Larry Wilson training I've had, refer to the four styles as driver, analytical, expressive, and amiable. There's a hundred different names or titles, red, green, black, and orange, D, I, S, and C. Ours is simple, driver, expressive, analytical, and amiable, okay? No matter how you label the client, if you want to become a better communicator, you must learn to communicate within their style. We coach some of the best agents in the business and have for years. We've discovered that many of our top agents naturally change the behavior and words they use to meet the demands of the client. If you can understand this and you are willing to ask the questions and listen, and set your ego aside, you can make a lot more money as a real estate person. So let's look first at what we call in the four styles, the expressive personality style. So let me give you eight basic characteristics of this style that you can identify by asking, listening, and watching. And then I'll give you a little tip or two on how to work with them. So here they are. First of all, they're very fast in the decision-making process. So let, let's take an example. You're analytical as an agent, and the seller is expressive, and they are going like this. But you're sitting back trying to absorb it all, and you're so concerned about your absorption of the material that you're not reacting to them, and they're blowing right past you. If you can't identify their fast decision makers and then get into that role with them, they're going to list with somebody else. They're very high in terms of emotion, number two. The expressives are highly emotional. Number three, they're very gregarious and outspoken. You, you walk into a party, they're the life of the party. You've seen it time and time again. Okay? They walk in with a whirlwind, they leave, and the wind is sucked out of the room. Number four, they're very open and spontaneous, which they are. Things come out of their mouth and you go, whoa, where did that come from? They always appear to be rushing around. Man, they're on the move, they're jumping, they're moving, they're, they're grinding all the time. And sometimes they actually wear people out. Number six, they like being the center of attention. It's not ego, they just like being the center of attention. You've seen in many of the retreats, I'll point to a lady and say, I'm assuming that you're expressive. Well, I don't know. I said, would you mind standing up? 
And of course, the lady's in a bright pink, yellow, and orange dress in nine inch heels, and her hair is spiked in eight directions. It's expressive, okay? They rarely allow, rarely allow themselves to be bored because there's so much going on. And they are normally always late. And you've seen this time and time again. Now, watch this. If you're an expressive real estate agent, you need to determine how you're going to respond to another style. So let's take an example, okay? You are an expressive, and you walk into the house, and you want to talk. You want to tell them the whole story. You want to be the center of attention. Is that going to get you the listing? No. The expressive has to tone it down, especially if you're talking to an expressive who wants to talk and be the center of attention. So what does the good expressive do on listing presentation with an expressive? Ask a lot of, you got it, questions. And then sit back and listen to the answers and watch them go. Well, if you're willing to ask the questions and smile and pay attention, they are very quickly, as a very expressive, they're going to very quickly fall in love with you because you're their kind of person. All right? You're an expressive and they're a driver. This is a hard one for the expressive because you have to walk into the house and you have to say to the driver, I know you want the facts and figures to make a good decision and you want to make the decision quickly. What do you need to know right now to make a decision? Well, the driver says, all I need to know is the price and let's go, let's sign the contract. Well, remember, if you are highly expressive <laughs> and you want to go in and chit chat, watch, I'm a driver, I don't want conversation. I'm a driver, I don't want to hear your story. I'm a driver, I don't care. I just want to get down to the bottom line. Well, as an expressive, if you're not careful working with the driver, they'll list with somebody else every single time. All right, now you're an expressive and it's an analytical. They make their decisions a little bit more slowly. I want to make sure that everything you need to know is covered. What should we cover first, second, third, and fourth so you can have the information you need? That's what the expressive has to do. Again, ask a question. And then the expressive agent with the amiable. I know that you're gonna want every single person that sees your home to feel as excited about the home as you are. What would you like me to tell them to get them excited? Now you notice the expressive has to tone their personality down to meet with other types of people. And if you don't turn your personality down, guess what? They're going to list with somebody else every single time. So if you're expressive, the key is to ask questions, listen to the answer, absorb what they're saying, and watch them carefully. They're going to give you all the signs and signals as an expressive seller or expressive buyer to help you help them. Give this a lot of thought this week. Watch this every day this week and think about the characteristics of the expressive. And if you fall into that category, talk to you next week. Have a great week.